eyes and brain are being missed. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As much as I Welcome to back to another of my regular Overwatch YouTube Thank videos. You I hope you're having a great day and just sit back just and relax and hey dude, you have a listen. <laughs> so yeah, I do. Uh, last week I've been, should I say, a pretty tiring and stressful week for me. In in it, or uh, at the beginning of the week, my cousin died, sadly. So we had a funeral and that took a toll on me and I couldn't make enough videos. Hence why my videos this week were dispersed. I've already talked about this, I tweeted about it. So, again, I'd like to apologize to you guys for not having a day-to-day -day content as I used to be. And hopefully I'll get back to it in the upcoming days. So, in the meantime, I've still been playing Overwatch and I guess today's video is about stress in general. Like I said, I've had a pretty stressful week. Uh, someone that I like died, a close one member in the family and everything, and he was a good guy, he helped me a lot and everything, and that kind of took a toll on my mental abilities. Not in the, uh, you know, uh, crazy type, no, in the sense that playing something as demanding as Overwatch and having those issues in real life were gonna really really take that on me and i kind of forgot in the midst of things and uh, the fact that i was stressing about having content having tangible content for my youtube channel i forgot about the fact that if i am stressed i should not play competitive overwatch i should have done something more casual and not go into you know uh, competitive because if you're not having a good day or a good week in general, your performance on a watch or any competitive game, even in real life in sports and everything, will be impacted by that. You will not have enough energy, you will be focusing on other things, you cannot advance as you should. And the results, of course, I dropped around 200, almost 300 SR that I thankfully got back yesterday. But still, now, as, as I was discussing this with a friend of mine, it was like, maybe it's because you were queued four games in a row with a thrower, which did happen, yes. I went back to the EU server, as you can see my ping in the top left, it's great, and, you know, it really feels great when you play with such a small ping. You can switch characters, you can play other things than fire and everything and overall it's a great experience for me so yeah i got back to eu i thought let me put some games on the eu server as usual i always go back and forth between na and eu although i prefer na because there's more communication and everything still while the sec the first game was all right i win the second game i get queued with a thrower and we lose because he was throwing obviously and the team was tilted we were all frustrated and we lost second game same same guy third game same guy fourth game same guy and the fifth game i just lost it because i at the time was completely tilted you see my usual self would stop on the second game it's a rule that i put on for myself back in my league of legends days if I lose two games and I get frustrated or feel like I'm tilting or I'm not in a good mood, I'll stop. Until I'm feeling better and until I will get back normally. Or I can stop the entire day and go back tomorrow. I That tactic or that strategy of mine brought me great results. I did not lose that much of games that I used to and I advanced much faster actually. You think that if you stop playing ranked for the day it's going to impact you negatively, but no, not really. 
if you're not having a good day, if you're tilted because factors in the game, you will remain filtered. Oh, tilted, not filtered. Tilted. And you will lose more and more and more. And you will be more frustrated. And as a result, you may become even a flamer. You will be insulting people. You will be doing many things that will result in negative impact upon yourself and yourself alone. Maybe you get banned, suspended. Maybe you lose more than 200 SR like I did. Many things will happen that have a negative impact on you. And if you lose a lot of games in one day, that can carry to the second day. And that's why many people will spend so much time in, say, gold or silver or platinum or even grandmaster. If you are not having a good day, you can never advance. Your brain will be focused on something else than seeing your mistakes, trying to correct them and playing around. Otherwise, there will be the other things that are kicking in, your stubbornness, your I want to insult someone. I'm, you will not be focusing in general at the things, the positive things that will get you together. So for me, and I hope people watching this video will do the same, if you are having a good day, keep playing, even if you lose, because at the end of the day, losing is part of the game, it's a mechanic just like winning, although it's had, you know, it's negative on the number side of things, on the, on the rank side of things, like you lost points, you were silver, or you were gold, you became silver because you were on the verge and everything, sure, it's negative. But not really. If you take it uh, positively, if you're in a Zen kind of mental state, you lost because of factors. Your brain is going to be processing those factors. Someone was throwing. Yeah, whatever. You are not doing your job correctly. You'll be focusing more on your own mistakes. What should I do to correct these mistakes? What aspects of my gameplay should I change? to be able to be good enough in order to win the game for myself and for my team. Even if my team is not doing great, I should be the driving force that will enable my team to do great. And trust me, whenever you find someone who's really good, who's doing great, who's taking the kills, who's healing you when you needed it, resurrecting you, who's tanking, keeping the shield up, and, you know, who's doing their part, it will be huge impact on the team you would be doing better because that's the guy that guy you're playing with is really leading you in a subtle way same thing will happen if someone is being negative if they start flaming going afk picking up hanzo and doing you know random stuff or probably on an attack or all those you know classic things that we see many days and more often than not yeah, it will have a negative impact on the game. Someone else will get angry. They will start talking to them. Maybe that guy does not have a microphone, so he will be spending time AFK talking to someone on the microphone, and so on and so forth. So, yeah. Negative impact and positive impact both had or have a factor or a role in your success or defeat so always keep things in mind and of course since i was frustrated since i was not having a good day i ended up losing instead of thinking of ways of getting around this thrower trying to encourage my team you know to uh, let's play around this guy he's not having a good day trying to talk to the guy in person and try to make him not throw. Not really. I played his role. I played his game and I kept telling him to stop throwing and just being sterile. 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 Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's the correct word. Sterile in my conversation. I was going nowhere and I kept telling the team he's going to throw and that impacted the team negatively. Thus, four games gone by like there was nothing and four games seemed like it's just i don't know four games was like not even an hour 
So in an hour, I lost five days worth of progression from 2800 or above all the way down to 2500 or 2400. So that's, that's kind of a huge, huge milestone. Luckily, luckily, I knew this because again, I have experience in the domain and I picked up myself, I got back and I did what I needed to do in order to get back. And it kind of impacts my message, my current message, because I come to Overwatch with a positive mindset. I want to make, should I get popular one day? Who knows? I want to have a positive impact and make the community a positive one. Maybe I will be as popular as Tyler won in League of Legends. It was the polar side of positivity, to be honest. And I don't want the Overwatch community to be just like in the League of Legends community, where you have game after game of negativity and you, uh, not useful conversation and just bad things happening day in and day out and you're not advancing. It's just a chaos cesspool of negativity. Sadly, that's a fact. Everyone knows it. Even the company know it. And they are not really doing stuff or steps to prevent it. Hopefully they will in the future, but who knows. So for Overwatch, luckily, the amount of games that one has where there is someone who's really having a bad day are not that much. And luckily, we can prevent things and we can make the community better there are small things you need to do and there are small things you need to take in order to always be on top of your games i keep talking about those things but the main aspect is knowledge understanding the game knowing what to do and having a plan in each game is what will make you or what will give you more chances of winning and going to the objective that you set for yourself. See, sadly, I keep asking this in the beginning of the game. Do you have a plan? And around 90% of the players don't really have a plan. They're like, let's go to the point and attack. But my dear, depending on the hero you have, you have something you need to do. Depending on the map and the team composition like for example uh, because I play Farah and Soldier a lot I or Junkrat too nowadays I have always a plan to why I play these heroes I play Farah because it's my main that's the role I play a lot and depending on each map there's always somewhere I need to go to and someone I need to attack depending on the current objective of the game and what are we doing in coalition of the team there's always something I do and that will keep me on top of my game because I know what I need to do so even if I die that means I just did something wrong and I need to correct it and that's it but if you just play chaotically without thinking and without having a pre-planned thought that will increase your chances of getting angry and tilting because why am I dying there? What happened? I shouldn't be dying. Where's my support? Where's You see, you start thinking about other aspects instead of I should not be there. I should have been going to that place instead of the other place and that's the thing. There's a Widowmaker. I'm Farah. I shouldn't be flying high up in the sky where she can easily see me. That's a great mistake. I cannot blame my team for not healing me or resurrecting me when the Widowmaker headshots me. That's, that's a dumb thought. And sadly, you, you see these things a lot. Everyone dying and everyone blame everyone. No one rarely blame themselves for their mistakes. And that's because when you're frustrated, you can never see your own mistakes. It's in our natural, natural state. We do not see our own mistakes, we only focus on other people's mistakes. But, 
if we have this mindset of I want to get better, I want to gain more skills, and I want to focus on myself, despite what the team is doing, despite the picks and everything, it will go great. I mean, in the second game you see in this video, you notice that our picks aren't really, you know, the regular 2-2-2. Two, two, two. But we win the game. Because instead of starting to talk about stuff randomly or thinking, oh, I should say something to someone, all I did is one, go on and check their information and see if they are playing their main and everything. And they did. Most of them were playing their main. And we had a normal atmosphere. I was encouraging instead of demoralizing. Oh, we have a Hanzo. I should tell him to switch. Certainly, you should tell a Hanzo to switch when they're doing abysmally. But our Hanzo turns out he's doing great. He's doing okay. At a certain point, I asked him to, uh, if possible, to play Soldier, which he didn't, and we ended up not needing Soldier. That was a far that you're going to see later on, and we didn't really need that because we just won the game. And I see in other games people focusing so much on this, tilting, raging, insulting, even though we were winning, you would still find someone asking someone to play something else. That's not good, man. Because if you focus on yourself and your skills and your own game style, you will find yourself trying to play around the Hansa, for example, trying to play around the fact that there is not two ta two tanks, there is not two healers, there's only one healer, no problem, there's healing packs in the map, I should always remember those and keep track on my health, if I'm dropping below a certain amount of HP, all I need to do is just go find the pack and heal myself, it will take me out of the action a bit, but it will not prevent me from playing the game, it will not prevent me from winning. Because sometimes you'll ask someone to play Mercy and they are not going to be doing great. Mercy is not their first pick. They do not know how to play Mercy. But they are great Hanzo. So if I left them with their own main character, they would bring much more results than, you know, your classic 2, 2 and 2. All these little details contribute to victory. Of course, um, this entire I don't know, arc around the subject is me talking about the fact that I forgot about all these things and I was just being frustrated. So yeah, going back to the theme of this subject, if you are having a great day, keep playing despite losing because losing is going to make you better. If you are not having a good day, stop playing. And do not do like I did. It's like my old self kicked in. My old younger self kicked in where I get stubborn. And even if I lose 10 games in a row, it doesn't matter to me. I will keep going despite the fact that I'm completely losing my mind. And I'm not advancing whatsoever. So I ended up undoing progress that I did in a week in a day and so on and so forth so yeah this has been the subject for today's video I will leave you to enjoy the video and uh, its completion uh, I hope you're having a great day I hope you are keeping up and having a good time in your ranked matches in Overwatch I apologize if I rambled too much and went out of the subject too much. Uh, it's just like, I feel like I should dedicate a hundred video just for the mental part of League of Legends, not League of Legends, of Overwatch, of competitive, not just Overwatch, Overwatch, League, Dota, whatever the game you are playing competitively. I feel like the mental part is something that people overlook. Everyone is training, everyone is trying to become better, but rarely pe people think about the impact of, of their 
own state of their success. So yeah, sorry for taking too much of your time. Hope you have a great day and see you when I see you. Bye-bye.